Hi, I'm John Kier. I'm Chelsea Abler. And I'm Kyle Warren. The electronics program is our final project, a hooker ship dispenser. I was responsible for the CAD and mechanical assembly of this project. We started out by building a CAD model of everything on here, and then running some simulations of running ships through the mechanism to ensure that they will go where we expect them to and for it to not jam up. We start by keeping the chips in a tube here at a PVC with a cutout so the sensors can read when they're low. It then goes through this escapement, which pushes the chips into another tube with a flap stopping them from falling out. When it's fully filled up, this tube extends forward and the flaps will go up so you're able to pick the chips out of there. Then when you're done with that, it retracts and it has magnets that uh, keep the flaps in the starting position. I'm Chelsea Hamler and I did the pneumatics on the poker chip dispenser. I spec'd out each cylinder and had five three-quarter inch two-stroke cylinders on the top, as you can see, and then have a three-quarter inch six-inch stroke on the bottom that pulls all the chips out to you. Here is the back of the panel where I have my regulator, my flow controls, and my valves. So we have all of the flow controls hooked up and all of the tubing runs through the conduits to the valves. I'm John Kicker. I am the electrical and uh, programming for the poker chip dispensing machine. I created the layout of the panel, designed the schematic, and built the panel wired everything according to those. I spec'd out each part for the electrical, such as the fuses, the power supply, PLC, the connectors, the sensors, the buttons, and the potentiometers. I did the math for each fuse to make sure they're all able to cover the amperage for each output. I programmed the PLC using Workbench on the computer, and with Workbench I created function blocks to have us be able to use auto and manual. In auto mode, we just press the green button and it dispenses five chips each. After it is done, it will shoot out then you have enough time to be able to grab each chip. After you're done, just click the green button and go back. Then in manual, you can set each with potentiometer and the five green or five buttons. You just set the number. And hit the green button again. And you'll be able to grab them and again hit the green button to go back. Now I'm going to demonstrate the low chip sensor. So we're just going to set it to auto and have it spent five each. Then you see that low chip sensor gone but it's still running. It's going to finish its cycle, then we'll be able to grab the chips. As soon as we put it back, now if I try to cycle it again, get five more chips, it's not going to allow. Until we put more chips in, and then it'll go. Thanks for watching our video.